Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Armand here with another vlog. Um, well, today's my birthday, okay? And everyone's had a wonderful birthday in their life. I'm pretty sure you have. And today is actually my 16th birthday. Well, I did have one birthday wish. My 16th birthday wish. My only birthday wish. And I don't know if it will come true, but wishes are always a good thing. Wishes turn out to be goals, and those goals are what we try to achieve in life. Sometimes wishes you can't achieve, nor can you achieve some goals. But if you try, it's a whole different story. My only birthday wish I had on my cookie cake, yeah, it was cookie cake, um, if you guys want to see the picture of it, I will put it at the end of the uh, video. Um, it was pretty hilarious, I have to admit. Um, it's, it's an inside joke, but you guys will probably understand, because um, I am a little bit fat, you know? You can tell from the thing. And, yeah. So, anyways, my birthday wish I really wanted to come true was I wanted to become top 10 on YouTube. Partners. Okay, I wanted to meet famous YouTubers like Higa Higa, Ray William Johnson, Freddie W, stuff like that. I really look up to mainly a couple, and surprisingly, they're actually all Asian. I never noticed that. There's Kev Jamba, Wong Fu, Freddie W, and Higa Higa. I look up to those guys those because they make original videos, they make really funny videos, and they make videos that are worthwhile to watch. Even though they don't have high-tech stuff sometimes, like Niga Higa, it doesn't have super high-tech stuff on some of his videos, but they're amazingly funny. And that's what got me thinking. I want to meet him, or at least if he saw any of my videos, that would probably be the best thing that ever happened. Because um, some of the videos I did make was from an inspiration from him because that's why I started making videos is because I thought hey these guys are making cool videos why not me and so he was my main inspiration on making videos and someday I really do wish to achieve to make at least top 10 on YouTube um, sometimes it doesn't really happen because a lot of people actually do wish that but for me it's like Devoting my like summers and devoting my days to actually make videos even though I don't have a lot of experience um, Hopefully I can actually achieve what I really want because a lot of people have really amazing wishes like oh, I want to be like a billionaire. I want to have this awesome car I want a Corvette for my 16th birthday But me on the other hand all I wish is that he can see my videos and actually maybe like my video or something like that because then I'd know that actually like I'm actually making something good to start off with at least and if I were to ever star in one of his videos or ever be in one of his videos that would probably be the best thing that's ever happened to me because that's what I really mainly want to become top 10 for is because normally whoever's top or like a good YouTube partner normally gets to um, shoot videos with other famous people like Shane Dawson I don't know about Ray William Johnson I don't think uh, he made well he didn't make a video with Freddie but yeah Freddie is amazing also uh, everyone started off with um, not that high tech quality cameras and uh, equipment and stuff like that until they became a YouTube partner and that's what I really wish to achieve and I can't do that if I'm not making amazing videos and that's why I do have videos that I'm trying to post but I can't really get people to watch it unless they watch it themselves and share the video and stuff like that I tried over Facebook so far only 15, 15 people like my Facebook page two followers on Twitter it's not that awesome but I do have a lot of people that view my stuff um, on Facebook uh, but they don't really sh comment or anything like that. And so, I mean, I think a lot of YouTubers start off pretty um, non-noticeable until they do something original. And to me, I thought, what is there original to do? 
because I mean you have Ray William Johnson doing viral uh, comedies. Same thing like Touch Point if you guys ever seen that. You have Freddie W doing special effects. You have um, Higa Higa just making funny videos. Same thing with Kev Jamba and his vlogging. You have like Shit Carl. You have I Justine with like 15 channels like doing everything. You have Toby. He's just a funny dude. It's stuff like that. So I don't know what there is to do original except for outdo what's out so far. And I can't do that because I'm, first of all, not rich. Many of you can already tell. Um, I am not a snob, so I don't go bugging people, being like, hey, let me borrow this for like weeks. And so, well, I don't know if you really call that a snob or anything, but anyways, I really want to eventually become a YouTube partner. I mean, a lot of people become YouTube partners. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. It's just, I want to become top 10 subscribed. Like, that's literally my goal. Like, I want to achieve that. And if I were ever to do that, I can go like Freddie W does, full-time video making. Um, I bought equipment just to start off with. You guys can see that iMac. Um, that's that's pretty much all I have to do anything. And I want to make the best of it. If I do ever become top 10, which I don't know if I will, because like I said, a lot of people have dreams, a lot of people have wishes, but not all the time do they come true. But it's a really good goal, something to look up to. And always, I think to myself, I'm like, let's outdo my last video. And so I've been trying really hard with all the equipment I have. Um, I have friends that also help me out making a lot of videos. And hopefully I can go to LA for college is where I plan to go to or, uh, univer for, or University of South California, USC, um, and take the courses there. Because I currently live in Oklahoma, um, so I do have to do really well on my SAT. So, but since I'm only 16 and I am a junior in high school, um, it's I have a lot of time in life. But I've noticed that a lot of all actually all of the famous YouTubers are above the age of 18, 19, and so I think I might have time. But when I look at their videos and think to myself, I'm like, well, these guys got famous instantly. Like, Nigga Higa, he made his first few videos. And um, he made his first few videos and he became famous, like, almost instantly. And so that's what I wished to do. Didn't work out because, I don't know, but he, he, at the time, YouTube was just needing someone funny. And they had Fred, okay? Fred was okay. Then people kind of um, didn't watch his video. Well, a lot of people watch his videos, but he wasn't attracting enough um, subscribers compared to Niga Higa. And in, almost instantly, Niga Higa became famous after like his fifth video on his channel. But... He did make other videos, I'm not gonna lie. He did make other videos for a long time, probably before um, he actually made Niga Higa. I don't know for sure, but yeah. And he did He did pretty good. Um, I do wish to do something like him, and if I were to do something, um, it would be great because, first of all, if I were to become YouTube partner, uh, like top 10, I would have enough money to donate because my bucket list consists of um, do donating um, approximately $500,000 to um, uh, charity. And I thought to myself, I was like, if I become a medical doctor, which I really don't want to pursue because it's not my style of career. I can slowly save up or I could become a regular engineer and make like and make like 
50 grand or 80 grand a year and save up from that or I can become top 10 on YouTube and make millions and donate because if I were to donate 500 grand to the poor it would make not only make me feel like a better person for myself like it would make other people feel great because I mean I have a big uh, I mean not a big house but I, I, I live an average life I have a home to stay in I have food to eat three times a day five times what, three times a day I have a computer I can use I have clothes that I wear, like clean clothes I wear every day but people in other places like Somalia Ethiopia other places in Africa South Asia stuff like that those guys those the poor people over there for their 16th birthday wish would probably be live, living like like us life like us if they could live a normal life just like we are living right now and to me that's what's the most touching thing is that if these guys really wish that they can live a life like us and if us people the middle class people can wish to be like superstars why not us become like those stars and help them become stars as well because we learn a lot of things from not just people that are above us we can learn from other people that even live in poverty and truly to me I feel like if I were to donate half a million at least to the poor it would make this world so much better because if you compare the United States currency compared to a lot of countries in this world one dollar to us is nothing to them it's probably one week worth of living and if I were to donate half a million in the future to poor or the poverty or like poor people they can rebuild society they can make a better society they can live a full life a wonderful life just like us that would be their dream come true some of them even wish that they had a camera to talk to to share to the people some of them wish they had computers some of them wish that they even had education some of them wish they can learn how to read and write but we can't we, we can't do anything about it except for donate and help them out and that's why I wanted to create a movement in the future if I were to become top 10 is make a separate channel just like just like Kev Jamba he made Jamba fun and I wish that I can do the same thing but my goal I want to set even higher I want to instead of keeping the money for myself because that is what to me YouTube is is a community of people and if people can help me I can help the community as well and I can help other communities and that's what YouTube should be for also is to help the world because YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world and if you were to count YouTube as a country or a community it, it would be like the fourth or third largest in the world and I believe with the power of all these people we can help the society you see that's probably their wish and my wish is to actually become YouTube partner to start this and I can't do that just by talking to the camera I wish to be able to entertain through YouTube I wish to help the world through YouTube because I believe that YouTube is a very powerful site and if I were to become YouTube partner again it would be like the best ever like top 10 it'd be probably a dream come true because I wish that would be my goal thank you guys again for watching and hopefully you guys enjoy your birthday whenever it comes and if you guys want in the comment below you can tell me what is your 16th birthday wish or if you're past 16 what is your next birthday wish